your fertility journey with CCRM. When it comes to fertility, age matters. As you get older, your eggs diminish in numbers and in quality, making it more difficult to conceive or maintain a healthy pregnancy. Egg freezing, also known as fertility preservation, allows a woman who is not ready to conceive to increase her chances of having a baby later on in life when she is ready. We first retrieve and freeze your eggs, and then we store them until you are ready to have a baby, at which time you will return to CCRM for embryo creation and transfer. Please remember that every patient's journey is a different one and that your care will be individualized. This video will speak of the process in general terms that may vary based on your specific treatment plan and response. The first step in the egg freezing process is your evaluation, which includes your new patient consultation, fertility testing, and treatment planning. The second step in the egg freezing process is your cycle prep, when your doctor will create your individualized treatment protocol based on your hormone level test results and current ovarian reserve. Your nurse will educate you about your protocol and corresponding treatment calendar, will help you order medications, teach you how to self-administer any injectable medications, will inform you of what to expect next during your egg freezing cycle, and will review the do's and don'ts of your egg freezing cycle with you, such as diet, exercise, and your alcohol and caffeine intake. The third step will be when you call your nurse on day one of your menstrual cycle to report your cycle start. You will then self-administer your stimulation medications as indicated by your calendar, usually twice a day. Once you begin stimulation, you will also begin regular monitoring where you come into our clinic for an ultrasound and blood work so your doctor can see how you are responding to your medications. You will typically complete monitoring appointments either three or four days after the start of your stimulation medications and either daily or every other day thereafter depending on your response to the medications until your eggs are ready for retrieval. After each one of those appointments, your doctor will meet with your nurse and will review your ultrasound as well as your blood levels to determine how your body is responding and if any medication adjustments are needed. The monitoring stage of the egg freezing process can be the most difficult to juggle along with your personal and work life. Be prepared for many appointments and visits to the clinic during this step of the process. CCRM has many monitoring locations to help make this step in the process as convenient as possible. So, what exactly is happening to your body during stimulation? Your injectable medications consist of hormones that your body produces to develop and ovulate an egg. During a typical menstrual cycle, your body matures one follicle that releases one egg. Stimulating hormones help the follicles grow and release multiple mature eggs at one time. The antral follicle count that was performed by ultrasound examination during your initial evaluation is a good general predictor for how many eggs we would expect to retrieve. During your monitoring appointments, the ultrasound will measure how many follicles are growing and how big each follicle is. Our goal is to safely grow as many follicles as possible, at which time you will be instructed to administer a medication called a trigger shot, which will release the mature eggs to be retrieved by your doctor. The last step of the egg freezing process is your egg retrieval. You will come to our clinic 34 to 36 hours following the trigger shot for your egg retrieval. On your egg retrieval day, you can expect to be at our clinic for about four hours total. During the egg retrieval, you will be under anesthesia or conscious sedation while the doctor collects your mature eggs during a minor surgical procedure performed vaginally under ultrasound guidance. Since you will be sedated, you must have someone come with you for your procedure and remain with you until the following day. You will be able to return to work 24 to 48 hours following retrieval. You will receive an update from the embryologist on the same day as your egg retrieval, letting you know how many mature eggs were collected by your doctor. You will receive a second update from the embryologist the next day with a report of how many mature eggs were successfully frozen. We will then keep your eggs safe in our lab until you are ready to have a baby. When you return ready to have a baby, we will complete the IVF process where we will thaw your eggs, fertilize them with sperm, and transfer the embryo into your uterus for implantation. How you can expect to feel during your egg freezing process depends on the types of medication you are prescribed and their side effects. Not every patient experiences all of these physical or emotional symptoms listed. 
They are just some of the symptoms you may experience as part of this process. If you experience blurred vision, or if any of these symptoms are progressive or concerning to you, please call your healthcare team at CCRM. You can expect to feel back to normal following your first period after your egg retrieval. If you have any questions about the egg freezing process or would like to start your egg freezing journey with CCRM, visit ccrmivf.com.